Hi. I'm getting ready to work with banana leaves. Um, I got this from HEB at our local supermarket. I'm going to use this for um, the bibinka rice muffins I'm going to make. Um, they're not the great ones I could find, but I guess this would do. Um, where I come from, we usually cut this the day before or that day, that same day we're going to use it. Ideally, this would be the size of the banana leaves. So, okay. So, the stove is fairly hot now. Um, to wilt the leaves, um, you pretty much just put it over the hot stove. So that stove actually had a chance to really heat up, so now it's a lot faster for me to weld um, the banana leaves. You can also weld the banana leaves over um, gas, flame, or open fire. So all parts are welted, and uh, as you can see, the leaves are now it's more pliable now, not so stiff. And so, all right, so we'll put that there. Okay, so um, these are the banana leaves I've already welted. And since they're a bit dirty, dusty, um, a little bit of sand on it, um, I'm going to wash them under cold running water. Hi, so I've washed these leaves under um, cold running water after I had melted them. So I'm getting ready to fold and cut them so that um, when I start making the muffins later, I'll use them to line the pans. Okay, um, let me just show you another one. Um, that's my second banana leaf. And again, I'm just gonna fold it. There. And now I have a triangle, sorta. And then fold it over, fold it over. There. And then I'm gonna cut it, try to fill the end of the other part. I'm gonna cut it right there. And then tie it so that it will retain each shape. And there. Alright, so here are the banana leaves that I have um, welted. Oh no, first I cut them into about 10 by 10 and then I welted them over a hot stove and then I started folding. No, I washed them first under um, tap water just to be sure to get rid of dust and sand. Um, and then I fold them and tie them and that's how it is. It looks like that. Um, and I'm only going to need six of these for each recipe, for a recipe, really. There'll be six muffins, large, um, large bibinka or rice muffins. And the ones that I'm not going to use, I'm going to put them in Ziploc bag and um, put them in the freezer. <laughs> 